there are stocks which have given you 13 percent returns stock market has always been considered in india of course as something that extremely risky Whoever had whatever forms of savings, they could just simply use it for their own benefit. A few years back, Gen Zers were blamed for just being on social media and on their cell phones all the time. And now, they are able to monetize their time as well. They have started investing like never before, believing the fact that this investment is somehow equivalent to the economic building. And if we'll talk about the bigger picture in 2021, then Indian youth shows an unprecedented degree of financial literacy. They expect a bright future being the part of the booming economy of the country with the largest young population in the world. They have a mixed portfolio of investments and a nice blend of both modern and traditional investment options like fixed deposits, mutual funds, stocks and even Bitcoin at some places. However, the crux shows a different story altogether and that is the increased amount of Gen Z investments made in the stocks alone. But why and how investing in stock market is becoming a new Gen Z trend is something that has captured attention over the transition period. Now, let me take you to the backstory of how it all started. Security trading is not a new thing in India. We find its trace back in history to the late 18th century when the East India Company started loan security trading back to 1850 when the Companies Act was introduced and the investors ran towards trading in corporate securities. At that time, some stockbrokers started informal trading in cotton when the trading floor of the Indian stock market was under the shade of Banyan Tree, opposite the town hall in Mumbai. That Banyan Tree is still standing in that area which is now known as Horniman Circle. From the Banyan Tree to Bombay Stock Exchange, the Lal Street has seen several groups of investors over the last few decades. But cut to 2021, the millennial and Gen Z investors are ahead of all the investing game. Reports say that the investors between the age group of 18 to 40 are most likely to hold stocks with a total of 36% of the entire Gen Zers. But how did this happen? Why and how investing in the stock market is becoming a new Gen Z trend? Let's figure this out together. The Indian stock market continuously shifted as the number of brokers kept increasing. It finally settled at Feroze Zizi Boy Towers, Dalal Street, in 1864 and was later recognized as Bombay Stock Exchange in 1875. Thus, it is the oldest stock exchange in India and even in entire Asia. It was also the first stock exchange that India recognized under the Security Contracts Regulation Act 1956. After BSE, the numeral stock exchange came into existence. For instance, Ahmedabad Stock Exchange, Calcutta Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange, Madras Stock Exchange and many more. Bombay Stock Exchange was the most dominating stock exchange market in the post-independence era. But then, investors faced a lot of problems while trading in it, like price manipulation, delay in delivery of shares, low level of transparency, violation of rules and regulations of the stock exchange. As a result, many felt the need for a financial market regulator. And then, in 1988, the Securities and Exchange Board of India originated. Who doesn't love extra money? We all do, right? Trading in the share market is one of the best ways of building wealth as it provides massive gain over time if you play the game right. You can also get regular earnings, payouts in the form of dividends. And now, for those who don't know what dividend is, the dividend is an additional amount paid to the investors by most companies. Investing in the share market is safe and legal globally, well regulated and transparent as the SEBI regulates the Indian stock market. Having a regular job and regular source of income is becoming passe. Now, 
with a click of a button within minutes gen zers are making money investing that money saving and spending and doing so many things that we couldn't even think of just a few years back almost everyone in gen z is investing in the share market which turned into a trend that's why some gen z's started trading in the share market due to peer pressure or out of fomo we can say now mutual funds are basically also investing into the stock market it's just your money is being carpooled by a group of people somebody is managing it buying good quality stocks and then doing it now with the entire covid crash the prices at which these companies were available during the covid crash was extremely lucrative for anybody who knows a company that has a standard stock price of around say 1700 to 2000 you are getting that stock for like what 400 bucks would you or would you not buy it? by time investing has also become hassle free just make an account with any investment platform fund the account and buy the shares of the company of your choice as there are numerous options in the market it is so simple that you can do trading in the stock market while doing your other work as it is not a tiring process anymore buying and selling shares is so easy and so quick and gen zers want everything quickly they are now becoming impatient they want quick moving fast money so if you find a stock of your choice you can buy them fast and if you need money you can sell them quickly and if you are investing for the long term you may get double of your investment we the gen zers know that shares are liquid assets which means that they are easy to convert in cash because they are will be buyers for them at any given point of time so it's very easy for us to sell them as per our needs and if you don't have a large amount of money you can also start investing in the market with small investments by buying small cap or mid cap and you can even purchase large cap stocks in smaller amounts as there is no need to buy shares in lump sum however apart from these benefits of trading in the stock market there are some drawbacks too for example trading in the share market can make you rich but you may lose your capital if you have not studied the market deeply as in business there is a saying that goes like higher the risk higher the profit but it is the same with the loss too the stock market keeps fluctuating you never know what will exactly happen you can only assume as per your study and understanding of the share market even the price of the top companies can fall so uncertainty prevails in the stock market which may turn into an emotional roller coaster for all of us plus dividends can also go down and even it can be knocked out so before investing in shares we need to study the market deeply otherwise it can be confusing to put our money as there are too many choices in the stock market well a several study and research work is very time consuming but definitely it will pay you off with all these there is one more drawback every time we buy shares we have to pay a transaction fee if a company goes bankrupt they will pay the shareholders at last after paying preferred stockholders and bondholders or creditors it's always a good good option to start investing early your life span is only so much right and there is something which is called compounding right and it's not necessary that you need to invest in the stock market directly for somebody who does not have the knowledge you can also invest into mutual funds you know like something that gives you compound interest when you say compound interest one of the simplest examples of compound interest is a provident fund personal provident fund because personal provident fund as of today gives you compound interest of 7% so that means that every year the interest you earn the interest gets added and then on to the capital on which the returns are given but fixed deposits are given on simple interest So your interest is fixed. You do compounding. Your interest of each year gets added added to your capital, and then you get an interest on the newly founded capital. Now, when you do compounding over over a period of twenty twenty five years, your invest your returns at a certain point in time, your interest is more than your capital, which keeps growing and growing every year. That is why it is extremely important for everybody to invest. 
but the knowledge to invest directly into the stock market by looking for good quality funds uh good quality companies if you can read financial reports if you can understand and find out good companies that have a good rate that have a good prospects for you you should of course invest in them directly or you can trust your money's with Genzers today have the option to invest as per exactly what they want, including the risk and return profiles that they want to take up. Thus, there are so many options for millennials to invest in. People used to believe the stock markets and the stocks were reigning in 2000s, and now it's time for crypto to a certain degree. But talking to the Genzers gave us a different perspective of this, really. Since the world has become global, this is the Zoom world which is now online. Well. This is the IPO age that we are living in at the point, and the best thing is you don't even need a lot of money to invest in the stock market. You can start out small as well. So there are so many apps that you can log into with a click of a button, and you can have easy access to share of huge companies. Thus, we can say that this is the reason why Genzers are now looking at the stock market as a way of making money 